Hello everyone. In the previous video, we discussed the basics about the logo PLC, unboxing, hardware, etc. Right? In this video, we will discuss a little bit more about the logo PLC and the available models, the available expansion models, maximum number of IOs. Okay, these things we will discuss in this video, right? So if you see the logo PLC, it is a universal logic module developed by Siemens, right? This logo PLCs are available with display and without display, okay? These PLCs are available with inbuilt power supply circuits and available in different power supply voltages. These supports expansion modules and inbuilt memory card slot and available with another hardware unit which is text display unit TDE. Okay. If we need separate display unit, then we can purchase this text display unit and we can connect it to your logo PLC. The logo PLC software has inbuilt library functions in standard functions, many instructions available. You can simply use those instructions for our programming. Okay. We will learn about these instructions and we will program our PLC with real hardware and we will test these programs in the next upcoming videos. Okay. Obviously, the every PLC has inbuilt timers, counters, some flags, how to use these digital flags or analog flags in our programming. That also we will discuss in our next videos. Okay and mainly this logo plc's are available with two types of voltages okay if you see the first one is class one I mean type one is less than or equal to 24 volts okay plc supports 12 volts dc 24 volts dc or 24 volts ac you can directly connect this much of power to the plc the second one is greater than 24 volts that means input range is 115 volts to 240 volts, either AC or DC. We can directly connect to the PLC in the power supply terminals L plus and M. Okay. Similarly, the logo modules are available two types. The first one is the logo basic. The main difference is the display unit. The logo basic are equipped with the display if you see some small display is available on the plc right logo pure there is no display for the pure versions for example you no need for any display for your project then you can go with logo pure you need a small display unit so that you will get some information simply the operator or engineers can easily access the some basic information then you can go with the display unit. It's always recommended to have a simple display unit. The number of IOs are same for both the versions. That depends on the type of the PLC. So displays are available in which models? The logo basic is having inbuilt display or you can use an external, another hardware part for the display purpose. We call it as the logo TDE, text display unit with Ethernet interface. E stands for Ethernet, right? And we have to check how many number of IOs the logo base module supports. If you see here, the digital inputs, it can support up to I1 to I24, means 24 digital inputs. Similarly, Analog inputs AI1 to AI8, 8 number of analog inputs. Similarly, 20 number of digital outputs, Q1 to Q20. Similarly, A1, AQ1 to AQ8, 8 number of analog outputs. That means we can connect expansion modules to the base module so that we can increase the count. Okay, the number of IOS requirement purely depends on your project. 
let's suppose you have only 10 IOs in your project or 20 IOs in your project. It depends on your project, on your requirement. You have to choose the number of IOs. If you need more number of IOs, then you have to go with a little bit medium size PLCs. Those supports a little bit more, 100, 200 like that. And digital flags also available, analog flags also available. How many flags are available for our programming? M1 to M64. We will discuss how to use these flags in our programming. And analog flags AM1 to AM64. Shift registers, 32 number of shift registers are available to program for this logo PLC. Four cursor keys. And network IOs also available. That means multiple logo PLCs we can connect in a network. In that case, we can use other PLCs which are available on the network. We can exchange the IOs for data transfer. Okay. These are the numbers. So next one, we will discuss the available versions, model numbers. See, the first one we are using in our project. We already discussed about this one, right? The second one is the main difference is 230. That means we can connect it to the pulse input to the PLC directly, right? And this model don't have the option to use four number of analog inputs from the digital inputs. Similarly, 24 CE. See, it is 24 volts operating and there is no R. That means it is a solid state output. See, it is a solid state output. That means it is having transistor type output. Similarly, this is 24 RCE with 24 volts AC or DC. It supports both AC and DC. And this is also not having the inbuilt analog inputs option. The first one is logo base model. Okay, this four, one, two, three, four, logo base model. And next four is logo pure model. Pure model means everything is same. Just the difference is there is no display on the PLC. You see, O, O is added at the end. Remaining everything is same. Okay, it, it is showing that it is not having the display on the PLC. That's it. Remaining everything is same. and expansion modules. So we will see briefly what are the modules available. The logo DM812-24, that means the operation voltage, power supply rating is 12 volts or 24 volts DC. DM8 means digital module 8. DM stands for digital module 8, the number indicating that how many channels are available inside this module. 8 means 8 channels are available. In Out of 8, 4 are digital inputs and 4 are digital outputs. Output type is relay. That is R it is indicating now. Yes. Similarly, DM824, it is also same. It is a solid state. That is why R is not there in the name. 24 means operating voltage is 24 volts. 24R. The fourth one is 230R. Operating is 230 volts. Then everything is same. Just the operating power supply will change. The type of output may change. Okay. And uh, this is uh, next one is DM1624. Digital module with 16 channels. Out of 16 channels, we can use 8 digital inputs and 8 digital outputs. Remaining concept is same. The operating voltage will change. Output type will change. And analog, we have to discuss AM2. Okay, this is the analog module. Two means two channels are available. Operating is same, 12 volts or 24 volt DC. What are the two channels? Two analog inputs. Operating uh, voltage or current rating is, we can connect 0 volts to 10 volts input or we can connect 4 milliamp to 20 milliamp also or 0 milliamp to 20 milliamp. Okay. Similarly, logo supports RTD modules. 
okay rtd means resistance temperature detector it is a temperature sensor okay we can connect the temperature sensor directly to this module and the plc can read the temperature it can measure the temperature it supports pt100 or pt1000 pt100 pt1000 are the types of rtd and the last one is logo am2 aq it is analog module which is analog output okay aq means analog output it supports two analog outputs and the operating ranges are 0 volts to 10 volts dc or 4 milliamp to 20 milliamp or 0 milliamp to 20 milliamp these are the operating ranges that this module supports okay so based on our uh, main logo plc based model we have to choose the respect to supporting expansion modules we have to connect these expansion modules to the plc so that we can increase the number of ios in the next video we will discuss how to power on the logo plc and we will discuss the available options on the display in the upcoming videos we will discuss how to do the programming the uploading downloading and uh, using every instruction program the instructions and we will simulate and we will also test the logic in real time thank you